Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Time now is 8.34, Friday evening, on the 20th of October. Man, we're going to be trick-or-treating soon. That'd be cool. Except for, I wonder what you would do if you are trick-or-treating in a wheelchair. Would the people come out to you? Tell me what you would do. If you saw a child that was in a wheelchair that was trying to stay up with the regular trick-or-treaters and how you would handle that. Do you think the kids would say, could we have an extra treat for our friend who's in the wheelchair? or for Johnny Boy who's in the wheelchair. He's right out there. Could we take an extra treat for him? He can't make it up the, the curb here to get any closer. That gets me. I shouldn't have even thought of that. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. But, if old Mark were out there walking his son around in the wheelchair, Now that'd be a little different. That'd be a horse of a different color now. Yeah. Put one down in the comments for that one. That one, that one got me. Oof. 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 Oh. Dry my eyes. water back in me. So, I'm a little big to go trick-or-treating. Now they do it all in the daylight, so it takes some of the fun out of trick-or-treating when you're doing it during the daylight. Yeah. We 
did it, when we did it, we did it at dark. You didn't even start until it got dark. And that's just the way it was. You had your you had your places you were gonna egg. You had your places you were gonna toilet paper. It was well thought out planned thing. And you had your places where you were gonna get candy. And you knew they always had the good candy. But now those places have been bulldozed and $400,000 houses have been built there. And well, I don't know if they turn their lights on or not. Or just leave a little bowl out there and replenish it every so often. That right, looks like Brent's coming in. Here he comes. Got some light on the old subject there. Just now got these flies to <coughs> quiet down. That sounded good. Yeah. I'm doing my little TV blog thing, so I'll be through here in a minute or two. And I can give you a little bit of volume on the TV set. Yeah, so, yeah, we had it all figured out. And we'd go out there and, and have a good time, boy. Ride our mini bikes up to the back side of town, and go up into town, and do our, do our little thing. Watch out for the commercials. Don't want any commercials now. 
Sister Sarah, now it's in two meals for Sister Sarah. Oh, shit.
by the by the grab or anything that had Doris Day in it was a, was about a hit. You know, I don't think she ever made a bad movie. So, what you gonna do? Can't compete against Doris Day. Yeah. I don't know. Is she still alive? I don't know. She's alive or dead yet. She'd be pushing. She's not that old. Long. She'd be pushing a few years. No, she's not. She's younger than I am. Brent, this movie was made probably 70 years ago. Yeah, I'm over 70. Uh, she's not one year old. Well, most of these people in these movies are dead. Well, there's some of them there that goes back a bunch of years. I mean, it's nice to think. It's nice to think she's still alive, but, uh... Now that guy's alive. because it's commercial and I can't have commercials on my blog. But you can read, can't you? Read mean, what? There's nothing. Well, there, there was. It said right at the first what it was. Right there, you can read that, can't you? You're not going to buy any of it because you've got no money. got your $60 a month that we all get. Yours is probably built up. Oh, yeah. To a certain degree. Yeah. All right. Maybe you can buy yourself some sweaters for the winter. Uh, Be a pretty good idea. You know. Living next to that window right there is your... <coughs>
high temperature was 90 degrees and a low 54 degrees. No precipitation felt today. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 75 degrees and the normal low is 52. Sunset tonight is at 5.51 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.41 a.m. The current time is 8.55 p.m. Central Daylight Time. You are listening to NOAA, All Hazards Radio, the voice of the National Weather Service, station KHA 99, serving the Munster and Gainesville listening area. The following reports of weather temperature and wind were made at 8 p.m. Gainesville, clear, 75, dew point 43, relative humidity 31%, wind calm, pressure 29.92 inches and rising. Boyd, clear. 67, dew point 52, relative humidity 58%, wind calm, pressure 29.91 inches and rising. Bridgeport, clear, 69, calm. Decatur, clear, 79, east at 3. Denton, clear, 69, calm. Sherman Denison, clear, 71, southeast at 5. Ardmore, clear, 70, calm. Elsewhere around the region, DFW Airport, clear, 81, northeast at 5. Wichita Falls, clear, 76, southeast at 8. Oklahoma City, clear, 70, south at 6. Paris, clear, 69, calm. Now let's check on your local forecast for the Gainesville listening area. Tonight, clear this evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 50s. South winds around 5 miles an hour. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Saturday night, mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 60s. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming south 10 to 15 miles an hour in the afternoon. And now the extended forecast. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Monday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs in the lower 80s. Monday night, mostly cloudy with a slight chance of thunderstorms. A slight chance of showers in the evening than a chance of showers after midnight. Lows in the mid-60s. Chance of rain, 30%. Tuesday, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of rain, 50%. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with a chance of thunderstorms. A chance of showers. Lows in the mid-60s chance of rain 50 percent. Wednesday, mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly sunny. A chance of showers with a slight chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of rain 50 percent. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers. A slight chance of thunderstorms in the evening, then a chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of rain 50 percent. Thursday, mostly sunny with a 40% chance of showers. Highs around 80. Thursday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers. Lows in the upper 50s. Friday, partly sunny with a 30% chance of showers. Cooler with highs around 70. The hazardous weather outlook through tonight for North Texas. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter activation is not expected at this time. And now the hazardous weather outlook for Saturday through Thursday. An elevated fire threat will continue through the weekend, primarily west of the Interstate 35 corridor. Rain chances return next week, with thunderstorms possible Tuesday through Thursday. It is now time to check on the latest tropical activity in the Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about what's going on. 
trying to go in. Let's see. I can sit now and stargaze. I can do that. Yep, sure can. Okay. Thank you for tuning in tonight. See you in the morning.